croeso, welcome to our latest vlog. We've had quite a few queries recently regarding the portable toilet in the short wheel base version of the Ford Transit Custom Nugget. Now you'll know from episode 3 from our Exploring the Nugget playlist, we show you the make and model that we've got, where it fits neatly in the short wheel base version of this van which is in this cupboard here. So this really is an extension of that um, vlog and also here we show you the practicalities and some hints and tips of what we've learnt along the way. Some people have been asking about the practicalities when you compare the, the Nugget to the long wheel base version where as many of you know there is an inbuilt section in the back of that van where the toilet sits. For us as a family of four this version has worked absolutely fine. We've worked out what works for us to make things easy. And we've also worked out five locations in the Ford Transit Custom Nugget of where this toilet can be located. And we'll show you these in this vlog. So why do this vlog now? Um, it's not just because we've had queries about it. It's not just because the toilet episode that we previously did seems to be one of our most popular vlogs. Everyone loves a toilet vlog. Um, but also my very busy four-year-old, we left him unattended with the portable toilet in our last campsite. Conveniently a campsite without a toilet block. And he managed to, broke, uh, to break one of the levers on it. So we've actually looked at replacing that. Some things are out of stock. So we've ordered a brand new, um, same version of the Dometic 976. We've just had it delivered. So this means I can show you everything from taking it out of the box to practical use in this van. Okay, so here we've got our Dometic 976 toilet, we've got a water supply and we've got our chemicals. Ideally, I'd like to be filming this outside uh, with a hose pipe for water, etc. But unfortunately, it's raining, so I'm going to show you a brief overview here. Just to point out, all of these products and the chemicals will have their own um, instruction manuals, details on measurements, so have a read of those. And like with anything, there's lots of different brands out there. So let's have a look. Okay, so this is everything that we've got. This white cap um, goes on the top of where the flush water goes in. So I'll just pop that there for now. And then this grey cap, very important. If you've seen our vlog on our first night ever away at a campsite, you will see that this is very important and never drop it down anything. So have a look at that if you haven't seen it. Um, this actually goes on the waste um, pipe. I'll just turn the toilet round so you can have a look. There's a catch on the back. If you just lift that up, it separates the top with the waste container. This cap fits onto that waste pipe. Then that neatly stows away there. Just to make you aware of a few things here, you've got a valve which needs to be closed when it's in use and then it, we open that when we tip the waste out. This lever here opens the bottom chamber and I'll show you that in a second. And on the bottom here, you've got an indicator as well, which tells you when it's full. In reality, it's quite easy to see from looking at the toilet when it is full. Pressure, etc., can affect these toilets, so that's something to be aware of. It does say in the manual, when you first get this toilet, you do need to Pull this bottom lever open while the top of the toilet is shut just to equilibrate the pressure. So the chemicals, so like I said, there's lots of different brands, lots of different measurements to have a read of whatever one you've got. The pink one is the rinse that goes in the flush department. So to do that, we just need to open this compartment here. We add in the required amount of the chemical and then the amount of water. And usually this will go right to the top, leaving about an inch or so from the top of the tank. Obviously, I haven't got loads of water here today, so I'm just going to fill it to there. In 
In regard to the bottom tack to fill in that chemical, if I take this off again, you would open the lever there, add in your blue chemical with your required amount. It is a bit messy, so just be careful because uh, it can get over your hands. And then add some water to that. We tend to give that a bit of a swirl. And this goes back on. use the toilet obviously you'd open this section here which opens the part to the waist section you'd go to the toilet and then to flush you pump this 15 times and there's a button on the front which starts the flush function Just a few things to note, we've used this portable toilet so much, it's been an invaluable piece of kit for us, it got us out of lockdown and able to go to some campsite as soon as they opened without the facilities being opened because it meant we were self-contained. It's been great for day trips, it's great for after school trips to the park when there's no toilets around. We've gone into a routine, we set this up usually on a Sunday night ready for the week if we're going on any after school things and then we get it ready on a Friday for our weekends away and then empty it in between accordingly and obviously be really sure to make sure that you're emptying the waste according to appropriate procedures. Some people hate the idea of this, for us it's been absolutely amazing. I will be honest with you, I was kind of dreading the smell situation but with using things like the chemicals and there are, are obviously a lot of greener options out there as well which we may well explore in the near future the smell is contained um, in the waste department and it hasn't really been any issue to us at all location one so storing this portable toilet in the ford transit custom nugget is really easy this cupboard here it fits neatly and if you look back on episode three of our Exploring the Nugget playlist, it shows you that in much more detail and the orientation it needs to be in. In that cupboard as well, there's space to keep the chemicals. A little bit of a tip, we've put some Velcro on the back of these bottles, um, keeps them in place in the cupboard and there's room to keep a small air freshener, the toilet roll. We've bought these net bags. I think they were from Lidl great to just keep the toilet roll in one place and also when we're at site we hang them up on the hook that keeps the fridge lid open. One more tip, having something on the floor of the toilet cupboard does make it easier to slide the toilet out and we'll be talking more about this in our future vlog on some adjustments we've made to the van six months in. Location two. This is where we have the toilet in night mode. It's easily accessible from the pop top bed and the bottom bed. And it's also in a really good location where we're not disturbing each other in the night. We have also used this location when we're using the van as a day van. An example might be when we've gone to the park or the beach where we're not using the kitchen area. We would just set up the toilet here. You've got the privacy with the blackout windows and obviously the curtains if you did want to use them and it's worked really well for us. Location three. Now you might feel this is a bit exposed but I just want you to imagine that we've got our drive away side awning on the van. On several weekends away in the day we've moved the toilet into the awning, full use of the van, full use of other areas of the awning and it works really well. Location four. We have used this location several times when we've been on sites. Yes, it's when we've had the covers on the front windscreen. Um, I think we had an awning as well, so we could just shut the door, use this um, and still have privacy. It's when we wanted to have access to the kitchen and it has been a really good option for us. So location five is this thin area here. Some examples of where we, we've used this, say we've pulled up, um, we may want access to use the toilet, but the kitchen may be full of some luggage if we're traveling somewhere and we've used that. 
Another option may be that we, we want this area plus access to the kitchen, but still easy access to the toilet. That's an option. The really good thing is it, you can easily use it and shut the door. And the other option with this corridor, if you were just using the bottom bed, for example, and you wanted easy access to the toilet in the night, with the bed up, you could place the toilet on that side with the bed flat. We haven't tried it yet, but um, I think you're going to try it this weekend, aren't you? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that will fit there with the bed flat. And again, the door shuts. So in the night, that might be an option for some of you. So in this vlog, I've shown you a lot of different locations. The whole purpose of this vlog really was to show the versatility of how the shot wheelbase Ford Transit Custom Nugget could work for you. Everyone's circumstances are different, um, but for us, it just shows the advantage of not having a fixed area that we have to put the toilet in um, and it just works for us in different situations. And I guess it's up to you guys to have a look at what works for you. If you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching.